training the Pokemon you actually want to train. <laughs> Too much water. <laughs> Too much water. There it is. There's nothing more that brings me pleasure than seeing bad takes on video games this dislike ratio is there for a reason and i want to know why this dislike ratio is the way it is so let's watch this triple deluxe review dude he's basically f listing off all the the things that about kirby you've solved puzzles by using your mouth you suck up enemies you get the power-ups they're cute they're adorable you go through the stages solve simple puzzles to get to the end of the stage everything he just listed off in this video is what makes kirby games charming what the hell dude Dude, I like doing this. I like looking at IGN reviews and like seeing the dislikes and be like, all right, what's the part? What triggered the internet, the game? I love that, dude. Any other ones? Woo, look at that, dude, 19K. I think we got another one, chat. All right, let's see what triggered the internet on this one. There's one thing you should know about Sonic Unleashed before spending your hard-earned money on it. It's a big piece of garbage. Big piece of garbage. I think I found it. But I had never played Sonic Unleashed myself. What do you guys think of Sonic Unleashed? Tell me what you think of Sonic. Is uh, Sonic Unleashed good? Ironically, yes. It's one of the best. It was decent. Half the game was great. It's okay. It was fun. I won't lock my answer in, but I think that might have been what pissed people off. That should probably be enough to warn off anybody who's thinking about playing it, but I guess we should talk a little bit more about it. Now, I have a theory when it comes to Sonic games. Someone at Sega hates the Hedgehog with all his might, and he's going about trying to sabotage the franchise with these awful games. Wow, this, this dude has an agenda. The jump button can be fatally unresponsive at times, and it's just a lot of trial and error gameplay that can get a little bit repetitive after a while. What the hell was that? Was he? A lot of trial and error gameplay that can get a little what? Why would you jump over the thing? What the hell, dude? Oh no, better jump over the ramp. Yeah, I think it's a lot of subjective stuff. I'm still locketing my answer in the first 10 seconds of this review saying this, this game is utter garbage. Maybe it's the bias though. Maybe it's the bias. Maybe it's the subjective nature of the review. Well, let's find out. Somebody at Sega hated Sonic the Hedgehog. No, that's just IGN, okay? This guy is probably the reason why we'll never get an unleashed port. Someone at Sega hates the Hedgehog more like everyone in IGN hates the Hedgehog. 120, you accidentally jump over a panel. See, see, I told you. Remember that part? Remember that part? Just jump over the ramp. Okay, so, so far we haven't really, the jump is unresponsive, jumps over the ramp. Is it the ramp? Dude, I gotta say, I think it's the ramp. I think it's the ramp. A button's unresponsive, jumps over directly over the launch ramp. I think it's the ramp. I think the ramp, straight up. I, I mean, it's. I think it's a combination of everything, right? It's the bias and the ramp. Faulty jump on my ass. He just jumped over right over the damn jump pad. The jump button is unresponsive, jumps over the ramp thing. It's the ramp and the bias. Okay, so that's what triggered the internet. It's the ramp, him saying it's unresponsive, but he freaking jumps over the ramp like a moron. And the bias, of course. I think it's the ramp though. I think that's, that's like 75% of why people, it's the ramp. 34K, 3.1, woo! Oh, man, the SMT community went after their asses, dude. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see this. Shin Megami Tensei 5 feels like the edgier, less sociable younger brother of Persona 5. Even though. <laughs> oh, we're starting off real good. <laughs> That is how you trigger an entire SMT community. Six fucking seconds. Six seconds in. Let me, let, can we get a replay? Shin Megami Tensei 5 feels like the edgier, less sociable younger brother of- <laughs> How to piss off the SMT community, bro. Bro, that was sick, bro. What was the verdict? What was the general consent? Not the IGN one. What was the general consensus on SMT5? Was it good? Did people like it? Did it live up to the expectation? You guys were waiting for a long time for that shit. Combat is good. Story is awful. It's all right. Story is weak. The rest is good. So basically the main complaint is the story being weak. Mastery is basically a necessity unless you want to play on one of the easier difficulties. Where SMT5 consistently fell short what the hell is that as uniform? a massive Persona fan though, was the writing. It takes upwards of 20 hours to find any personal motivation beyond survival and figuring out what's going on, contrast to Persona 5, which makes things personal right away. 
The companion characters are also very underdeveloped. One thing you shouldn't do is compare SMT to Persona. Just don't do it. That is a trigger word. Don't do it. It isn't even in the same league as Persona 5. I just couldn't shake the feeling that this was Persona without the heart. I'm looking at this review and it seems like everyone is in line with what this guy is saying, right? Everyone's like, yeah, the gameplay, pretty good. Never left me bored. Story was ass. Everyone's saying that. But I think the reason why freaking 34,000 dislike is the fact he keeps comparing it to Persona, dude. <laughs> it's the <a> Persona <laughs> I think that's it. I'm like, where is he lying? I thought we're all on the same page. You guys are telling me the gameplay is fun, but the story is ass. And this guy is telling me the gameplay is fun, but the story is ass. The only difference is that this guy is comparing this game to Persona. And that just freaking just... <laughs> to a lot of SMT fans. That just causes your dislike ratio to just... Look at that. Holy crap, Dola, dude. Can't believe that a game that isn't Persona isn't Persona. That's exactly why they're so upset. This is exactly why. That's so funny, dude. Imagine playing Final Fantasy and complaining that it's not Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> this is truly the Dark Souls of game reviews. It really makes you feel like a Persona fan. This review is like hearing a customer complain that Subway doesn't serve Big Macs. Metal Gear Solid 5 feels like an edgier, less sociable younger brother of Metal Gear Rising. Bro, that's such a good comparison. Oh my God. As a massive Persona fan, proceeds to only talk about Persona 5. Here's Persona 5 in the first sentence. I've seen enough. Oh man, this one was great. This review was awesome. This review was sick. 43,000 dislikes, 5.6 likes. We got another banger. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby. Finally, a game I can give my two cents on. This one's gotta be good, dude. All right, let's see it. Unfortunately, okay. there are still a few big flaws that weren't addressed, and they're even more noticeable in light of more recent- Oh Pokemon boy, what RPGs. was it? For instance, my least favorite part of every Pokemon game is the unnecessary inclusion of too many hidden moves, commonly referred to as HMs, which are required to traverse the region. They feel very forced and dated. HMs are fine, but didn't they get rid of? Did they did they get rid of HMs in this gen or not yet? Did they get rid of them? It, it was after this one, right? But HMs are fine. There was in gen seven. I see, I see, I see. HMs, to be honest with you, I could do without them, but they're not horrible. Especially noticeable in Alpha Sapphire, since the villainous Team Aqua uses a lot of water types. It just feels like there are water Pokemon in nearly every battle. Little details make the region really come to life, and small updates and tweaks help make okay. the journey smoother, even if annoying problems still exist, like the overabundance of water in both terrain and Pokemon. The added online features Pokemon you actually want to train. <laughs> Too much water. Too much water, there it is. SpongeBob rehydrated? SpongeBob, sorry. What? Ooh, we found another one, boys. Let's see this. We found another one. Sadly, what's described as a flashy remake feels more like a skin deep remaster, doing little to fix the issues that plagued the original. Later, I love this game, by the way. I, used to, I played the original. I haven't played the new one, though. The it's wow. absolutely jarring when one of the original actors doesn't voice their own iconic character, like Mr. Krabs. Clancy Brown was absent in the original and is still not voicing that role in Rehydrated. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? And even though that's something we've been told before launch, it's still really disappointing to hear. Okay, it is Overall, disappointing. Overall, Battle for Bikini Bottom is an incredibly easy platformer with only a few truly challenging sections thrown in. The difficulty jump in levels like SpongeBob's Dream is often fun, but there's such whiplash from the rest of the adventure. But in a platformer still meant to be enjoyed today, I have to ask, why do I have to keep trudging back to a specific location to switch characters instead of just quick swapping with a button? That really doesn't add anything but busy work, and it's an easy example of something a proper remake Okay, I think it's starting to allude to it. We're starting to allude to it. Ba I think people get got triggered or the internet got triggered because he wanted this to be a completely different game than it actually was. No, because this is basically just all of the complaints about the original, right? And one of his things was, okay, you should make the original better with the rem with uh, the this remaster. Yeah, he wanted like a remake, but it, it 
it's kind of a remake in a way. You know, it's not the same one. They actually had to remake a lot of a lot of the, the the assets and stuff. But I think he wanted just to completely. Yeah, it's a lazy remake. Okay, I'm not, I won't lock it in. I'm not locking it in. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Could have addressed. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Rehydrated leaves history intact at the cost of passing on opportunities to make this a better game. It looks good enough, but the- pr I think that's it. I think I'm locking it in. I think it's the fact that this this reviewer was complaining too much about it not being a remake. Like, uh, almost a completely different, like, a completely different experience. I think that might be it. But it does so little to stand alongside the best, or even the pretty good. Woo! That is a gnarly mediocre score. He hated this shit, dude. Wow. Platformer remakes and remasters we've seen oh. this generation. Wow. From a five out of 10. That's rough. That is, I think it might be, I think it's going to be a mix of the five out of 10, which is steep, dude. This game doesn't seem that bad. All right. Doesn't seem that bad. And also the, 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 the whole remake versus remaster argument. I think we found it. I think it's a five out of 10. I'm going to, I'm going to lock it in five out of 10. Let's see what pissed off the internet is the same as the original five out of 10. Call of Duty is fresh ever new. I knew it. That was it. We got it. We did it. This SpongeBob game is too kid friendly. And yes, this floor is made out of floor. Overall battle for bikini bottom is an incredibly easy platformer. Too kid friendly. This is guy did not know what SpongeBob is. This game is too kid friendly. Every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute pass <laughs> so what the hell this game isn't call of duty five out of ten i knew it that's exactly what it was Woo! we found one metal gear survive all right this might be our last one but this is gonna be on metal gear survive now metal gear survive was like the freaking worst thing konami could have ever done with the metal gear series right 100 percent no doubt about it. And the fact that this is disliked and ratioed to hell means something's got to be here to trigger the freaking the internet, right? Let's find out what triggered the internet on this one. Metal Gear Survive is a weird game. Flat, forgettable characters dole out a bland story that seems to exist merely to justify the creative liberties Survive has taken with the series' theme and genre. It's okay, so so far the story's ass. Dude, I heard that they charge for another save file. You have to pay 10 bucks or something for extra save slot. Wow. Wow. I hope they address that here. Survive's base enemy type and their sadly rare variations are similarly bland. They're mindless and predictable, okay, and they don't so even the chase enemies you for suck. very long, so attracting their attention Sounds has good. few Sounds good. So, so far, we're on a Survive path of lots of cons. Miss the melee-heavy combat feels good from a mechanical standpoint, even when you're resource-rich enough to afford ammo. But the fun doesn't come from poking or shooting the same zombie in the face over and over again. It's in those uh, hectic moments where you're struggling to manage the onslaught of wanderers from I don't every know about direction. that one, Chief. Bouncing one particularly fun late-game mission had me defending a point solo for 15 minutes straight, and it made the two hours of grinding for supplies and preparation feel worth it i had to kill zombies for 15 minutes my god that was the best 15 minutes of my life i don't think i'm locking that one in but it i'm i'm very very I much sure that it's like it isn't chilling. entirely a chore and as your base grows more complicated to manage and story missions get more difficult you'll find yourself managing several personal goals at once that I feel like i'm watching a sponsored video base building loop feels akin to a casual game made up of phantom pain parts and that was surprisingly enjoyable once dude if you stick two cons together it makes a positive casual gamer mode with elements from metal gear 5 it was actually pretty refreshing and pretty pretty fun two negatives equals a, a positive that's how it goes the darker side oh, here we of go. that is it requires you to pay $10 to start a new character without erasing your old one. Okay, there we go. Pressure, but requiring money for two save game slots is something I hope Konami changes its mind on. Okay, thank God. But after learning the ropes and learning to set your own personal goals within that loop, there's an odd comfort in the formula. And I... They're gonna give this a seven out of 10, aren't they? I can see myself returning to expand my end game base out of my own completionist urges. You're not, you're not go going back. Guaranteed. Survive might not compare well to the tactical espionage action that- Wow. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, this shit almost came out of my freaking mouth, dude. It's not a seven, but might as well be. I'm locking it in. She's shilling. Ironic that this game is called Survive because it killed the entire franchise. 6.5 is way too high for this asset flip. So it's recycled content with microtransactions for $40. Dude, just the fact that you have to create a shill $10 to create a separate save file, the fa just that simple fact immediately bumps it down to like a three. Immediately. Even if it has good gameplay maybe a four but this had terrible gameplay terrible gameplay dude can you believe metal gear survive is higher than than freaking um uh what's it called spongebob ain't that nuts all right that's the last one i can't take any more of this